Hello, Kamato Class! Welcome back sa isa na namang pag-aaral ng aralin sa mathematics. Ano ang napapansin nyo sa mga expression? This time, we will be working with the product of sum and difference of binomials. Let us work on with this. As we go on with the product of sum and difference of binomials, we will be using this as our pattern. Just to emphasize, itong x plus y, yan ang nagsasabi ng sum of two terms. Kaya mayroon tayo sa title na sum. At ang x minus y, yan naman ang nagsasabi ng difference of two terms. Okay, sabi ko ito yung magiging pattern natin. Kung mapapansin mo, ang sagot ay x squared minus y squared. So alamin natin at patunayan natin kung paano yan ang magiging sagot gamit ang FOIL method. We can use other method when we multiply binomial pero ito na lang gamitin natin FOIL method. Kopyahin muna natin ang given. F means first term and first term. So x times x, that is x squared. Then O means outer part. Then that is x times negative y is negative xy. Then the inner part is y times x, that will be xy. Then the last term is y mas negative y is negative y squared. Pansinin natin, dito tayo mag-concentrate. Kung mapapansin nyo, pag ito ay inad, the answer is 0. Kaya ang matitira na lamang ay x squared, which is this one, minus y squared. In other words, para makuha natin ang product of sum and difference of binomial, i-multiply na lang natin ang first term times the first term, ito na yon, then last term, times the last term, at ito na yon, at ito na yung magiging sagot. So, let's start with an example. Consider quantity x plus 2 times the quantity x minus 2. So, sabi kanina, multiply the first term and the first term. Ang first term ay x times x, and that is x squared. Then, last term, 2 times negative 2, is negative 4. Hence, ang sagot natin ay x squared minus 4. Okay, let's have another one. So, first term, last term, first term, last term. Multiply first term times the first term. Answer is x squared. Then last term times the last term. The answer is negative 49. So, our answer is x squared minus 49. Let's have another one. First term is 3x. Then last term is 4. First term is 3x. Last term is negative 4. Hence, 3x times 3x. Dahil may coefficient, may numerical coefficient, 3 times 3. Then x times x. Answer is 9x squared. Kasi 3 times 3 is 9. Then x times x is x squared. Then 4 times negative 4. Okay, that will be negative 16. Okay? So, did the next. First term is 6y. Last term is 5. First term is 6y. Last term is negative 5. Therefore, magiging 6y times 6y. Answer is 36y squared. Then 5 times negative 5 is negative 25. So, we arrive with that answer. Proceed to the next. 2x is the first term. 2x dito. 3y dito naman negative 3y. Then 2x times 2x is 4x squared. Then 3y times negative 3y is negative 9y squared. Okay, let's continue. How about with this example? First term is 4a squared. The last term is ab. 4a squared ang first term. Negative 8v ang last term. So, dito tayo. 4 times 4 Kaya magiging 16. Tapos ito, A times A, same base. Paalala, same base. Kaya copy, uh, i-add na lang natin ito. 2 plus 2. Kaya 16 
a to the fourth. Again, ulitin natin, 4 times is 4. 16, same base ay a. Then, 2 plus 2, 4. Okay, gamit ang laws of exponent. Then, 8 times negative 8 is negative 64. Tapos yung b ay magiging squared. So, negative 64 b squared. Let's have the next. mn plus xy times the quantity mn minus xy. First term, first term. So, mn times mn. Kaya yun, yung m, dalawang m magiging squared kasi may 1 dito at 1. Ganun din ang n. Kaya, m squared, n squared. And same process with xy times negative xy, negative nga lang, negative x squared, y squared. Okay? So, let's work on with the next. How about this? Naging tatlo na nga ang ating i-multiply. Quantity x plus 3 times the quantity x minus 3 times the quantity x squared plus 9. Pero dito sa x plus 3 times x minus 3, pwede natin i-apply ang the product of sum and difference of binomial. Magkaiba ng sign. Kaya dito muna tayo. x times x, we have x squared. Then, 3 times negative 3, that will be negative na. Tapos kapihin muna natin ito. Lagay natin dito. We have that. At mapansin nyo, sum and difference pa rin yan. Kaya x squared times x squared kasi ito na yung first term. So, di copy the same base as 2 plus 2. Kaya x to the fourth. Then, negative 9 times positive 9 is negative 81. Okay? So, let's work on with the next. Okay, so we have the quantity x plus 1 plus 5 times the quantity x plus 1 minus 5. So, para makuha natin ang sagot, ito yung squared. Ito yung first term value dito, x plus 1, dito x plus 1. So, squared natin. Kasi yun naman yung ginagawa natin sa pattern. Then, 5 times negative 5 is negative 25. Ibig sabihin nito ay x plus 1 times x plus 1. Okay. Gamit yung previous lesson natin, yung square of binomial. So, kukunin natin yung first term, yung squared. Then, x times 1 is 1x plus 1x, kaya 2x. Then, 1 times 1, that will be 1, minus 25. So, masisimplified pa to. So, ito, kopyahin na lang natin, kaya x squared. Then, plus 2x. Tapos, ito, 1 minus 25 is negative 24. Sana nasusundan. Okay, proceed tayo with the next. Then, quantity x minus 2 plus 3y times the quantity x minus 2 minus 3y. Hawig lang ito dito. So, squared natin ito, x minus 2, dalawang x minus 2. Tapos, 3y times negative 3y is negative 9y squared. Tapos, ito, squared natin ito. Then, x times negative 2 is negative 2x plus negative 2x, ay di negative 4x. Then, squared, positive 4. Minus this one. So, may common term. Kung wala ng common term, ito na yung ating magiging sagot. So, kamatok class, dalikan natin ang multiply lang. First term times the first term. We have this. Then, second term times the second term. Okay, that's all kamatok class. God bless us.